Hello teachers. Uh, I'm going to discuss today polynomial you know, uh, functions. Now, uh, <coughs> sorry. If uh, this is uh, how does a, a given polynomial function, how does it look like when, when we are going to graph them, okay? So there are actually four cases that we're going to consider. So uh, it will actually, this will be a big help for us to graph a given polynomial equation or polynomial function. Okay, so this one, I shall say uh, function of x where a sub n, x n, and then blah blah blah, and a zero, which is the last constant. Uh, constant. <clears throat> Always remember that when we are going to graph a given polynomial function, we're going to have, we're going to consider the uh, numerical coefficient of the first or the, the 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 term with the highest degree, and then a and n. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the first is. If a is zero, a greater than zero, and n is even, that means even two, four, six like that, and then a is greater than just a one, two, three, four, five like that. The graph must be like this, okay? Now, if it's even, minus one, the number of fluctuations with fluctuations or curves is always minus one to the given uh, what is n. So, so let's say if n is five, our fluctuations will be four, okay? Like that. So since this one is even, like sorry, two, four, six. So sorry, say this is four. We have three fluctuations. This one is the, are the curves. Fluctuations are the curves. Okay. So it looks this way. Next, if a is greater than zero but n is odd, like sorry, say a is like one and then this one is five. It looks this way. Okay. The graph must be like this. If a is less than zero, that means negative, and then n is even. Okay. So this must be uh, this. Uh, the graph looks this way. Okay. If a is less than zero, again negative, and then the n is odd, the, it, the graph looks this way, okay? Now, <clears throat> if you're given with this, like the number one example, okay? Number one example, we have there p of x, or function of x, is equal to x minus 4 times x minus 3, and then x plus 1, x plus 2. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> We're going to get for the value, uh, how much is again? So it's like positive. 1, 1, 1, 1, so that's positive. A is greater than 0. And then n is like 1, 2, 3, 4. So n is even, okay? n is even. So that means this is, it's in the case 1, or first case, okay? Now, and then our y, we have to get our y here. Like negative 4 times 3. Negative 3, that's positive 12. Plus 1, that's neg uh, positive 12. n times 2, that's 24, okay? There you go. That's our y. Now, to graph that one, I'll just have it like this way. This one is 4, this one is 3, we have to put this into 0. This is negative 1, and this is negative 2. So there you go, negative 2, negative 1, and 4 and 3. Okay, so there you go. Like, shall I say this one is 3, and this one is 4. Anyway, like that. And our y is, shall I say this is 24. So since it's in the first case, we're going to have the graph almost look this way. Okay, there you go. That's how does our graph of this given function look like, okay? There you go. Now, what if you're given with the second one? Okay? Second one. P of x is equal to x minus 4 squared. And then x plus 1, 3. And then x plus 3 squared. Okay, there you go. Our a is greater than 0 again. Okay, so it's all positive. Multiply this stuff. All positive. And then n is what? You just have to count how many exponents for the x. This one is 2, 3, we have 2 also. So 2, that's 7. So that's odd, right? So it's in case number 2. And then we're going to get for our y. Our y would be 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. That's negative 6. Uh, no, this is 16. I'm sorry. Positive 16. Okay, so it's squared times 1. That's 16. And then times 9. So 16 times 9. I'm sorry. So that's 16 times 9. Okay, that's 144. Four. Anyway, so our y would be 144. Four. There you go. And then since this one is in the case, now take note, teachers, if it's like this, if it's the, ex if the exponent of one of the factors is squared, it only touches the given zero. Okay? But if it's three, it almost like just pass through something like that. Okay? Anyway, uh, so let's say this one is uh, four, this is negative one, this is negative three. So here, negative one, this is negative three. And we have there 4, okay, and our y. So let's say this one is 1, 4, 4 anyway. And then, it is in the second case, right? So it must go like that, correct? So there you go. 
uh, our graph would go this way. Since 4, uh, no, 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 3 touches 2, uh, it only touches because of that. So we have there like this, and then like that. It passes through 1, 1 time, and then with that 1, 4, 4, and here with 4. It also touches with 4, so the graph most probably look this way. It will, it will also touch in 4, it's because of that square. Okay, there you go. Thank you so much, teachers. Bye-bye.